Hello, this is Joshua from Team Hackers Anonymous. And um, what I want to do today is I want to just do a quick video on the how to implement the Linux move command in C. If you saw my previous video, there's nothing much new here. In fact, this is one of the same programs we wrote together, just a little more in depth for a quick bite-sized video. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do vim move.c. And what we need some uh, include statements. We'll include standard io.h. Include standard lib or standard lib, standard library.h however you want to pronounce it. Um, we will do string.h and we want erno.h. All right. So what standard IO and standard lib do is they uh, help us with our file manipulation. They provide some useful methods. Um, they actually are part of what let us do the moving commands. And then these two here are really quite interesting, especially this Erno one. Erno provides you with a variable called Erno, which will um, whenever something manipulates a file or accesses something and it fails it will set erno to a specific value and then you can put it in a f the erno into a specific function in string and it will actually print out what exactly went wrong it's really a very cool and easy way to get some fairly in-depth error messages with very little work at all. So since we're using this we want to have a good print error method and we'll have a char pointer called this. This will be the actual name of the um, program from where it's been called. Uh, this is the first command line argument file which will be file name one and this is file name two which is your second command line argument. Alright and then this is how we actually print out the error. I choose to do fprintf uh, just because you can print out to a file and I print out to standard er. Your uh, terminal is considered standard out and then standard er is just a way to um, it's kind of like standard out goes straight to the terminal only it signifies there's an error. So we'll just uh, put in some nice little things to help us should an error occur all right we'll go to a another line here this which is the file or what we actually called the program we called cannot move file name one or the first file to file name two. And this is the really cool part. This is where we get our um, error string and there we go right there. That is all we have to do to get our nice error. And then whoops I forgot something.
if I knew Vim a bit better, maybe this would go faster. Okay. So, if we have an error, we want to exit. All right. Um, print usage. Just if you know you have a syntax error, you can call this and it will print out that there was a syntax error and it will give you the correct way to call this function from this uh, area. So here we go. And f printf, so we can go to standard error. Oops. All right, percent s. No. Syntax error to help them uh, know it was a syntax error. We'll do a new line. Say usage now percent s which will be this and old file name new file name And there we go. Also, if we have a uh, syntax error, we'd want to exit. So we just say exit, exit failure. All right, now we do int main int argc. This here just helps us to, allows us to get um, command line arguments. The first variable here gives us the count of command line arguments, including the uh, string that is our, the call to our program. And this gives us an array of strings, all the arguments after the program, as well as the program itself, which is in argv0. We'll put our return in so we don't forget it. Turn zero. Um, and we'll want to set error node equal to zero to signify that no error has happened. Uh, first thing we want to do is check to make sure that argc is equal to three. If it is equal to three, then we will want to say, then we will want to actually try renaming. So we'll put this in an if statement so that if it fails, we can print out our error. We'll pass it in the file name one, which is our first command line argument after the program and file name 2 which is the next one we'll then check to see if this is equal to negative 1 because when this method fails it will return a negative 1 and then if it is negative 1 we'll want to print an error and we'll pass to it 0 one and two so that is actually the renaming of the file all we have to do now is if we don't have three arguments then obviously we've had a syntax error and we'll just put an else and we'll say print usage 
and we'll give it our first argument. And that is move. Really very easy if you look at it here. N almost no code at all. We have it in 32 lines, which could be made much shorter. Well, it could be made all one line if we really want to get technical with it. But So we'll compile it. Dash O means name it name the output to whatever is after it and we'll name it move Ooh. okay I have an error I forgot to declare this pointer to be of type char All right. Once again, I have another error. This time, I forgot a comma. All right. So we've compiled it. Uh, let's look to see what's in our directory. And we have a test.txt. Let's try to move that out of here. So we'll do dot slash to signify this directory. Um, with C, that's what you have to do with the output files. Uh, I think there's a way you may be able to put this as a global program that can be called from anywhere by just calling the name of the program but I haven't uh, gotten into that yet so we'll move test.txt and we'll go back one um, and that goes to my home I have something called Linux CMD this is where I've done a bunch of stuff implementing Linux commands and then I have a test um, gen well I'll just copy it into here because I'm not sure what I have there so we'll call it test.txt.1 because I'm pretty sure I have one in there already so we'll go ahead and move it you notice it's not in here anymore so uh, let's go to dot dot dash l and x command and we'll list everything and over here is our test dot txt dot one so it works um, thank you for watching hope you learned a lot see you later